This is our St. Louis motor demonstration or a DC motor demonstration. This is a really common simple motor that you'll end up seeing. So right down here we have two field magnets that are permanently set as north and south. And then we have our armature which ends up being an electromagnet because electricity will flow from the source through the coil and as you've already learned when we have current flowing through a coil of wire around an iron core we get a magnet. Polarity will be induced by the direction of the current, meaning that depending on the flow of current through these coils, you will have either a north or a south. That will then also be transferred through the commutator, which is right here, um, up in this part here. This is the split ring commutator. When the brushes, these are the brushes right here, when they are connected to the metal part of the commutator, then current will flow through the circuit, which is our motor circuit. Um, when they are actually uh, contacting the split, this black part right here, uh, we will have a temporary break in the circuit and a stop in the flow of electricity. So how this works is when we connect our nine volt battery to the two leads, we will have current flowing through our system. We will induce polarity in our armature. So if this is a permanent north magnet, we know that like poles will repel. So if this ends up being an induced north pole, it will be repelled by this north pole magnet. And this is a south pole, if this is north, so it will also be repelled. So they will go around like this to try to find their um, point of connection, or point of attraction rather, and once they get past this halfway point, momentum is going to carry them, and now this south will be attracted to this north. So they're gonna come across here and go, woohoo, I found my soulmate, or my pole mate. Ha, ha, ha. Um, but what you'll also notice is that is when the brushes encounter the split. So what happens is the current actually breaks and momentum carries it like this. This then reverses the polarity to the armature, now making this a north when it was a south and this a south when it was a north and they're going to go whing and try to come back again. And this will continue over and over and over again. Okay, we are going to attempt to get our motor running um, by connecting our nine volt battery uh, to the leads of the motor. So we're going to connect them. Um, if we are already inducing opposite poles or if the brushes aren't touching like these ones weren't, then we sometimes have to give it a little boost to get it going, um, and if our brushes do not stay in connection, then we have a problem. But now you can see that the motor will just keep going. And if we were to move our uh, field magnets further away, we can slow it down. And if we come closer together, it speeds up again.